Hole 10, par three, 306 feet. You saw it on the sign, a whole lot of nothing in the way. Um, so straight down this little mowed out fairway, we have our basket. Uh, there is some woods behind it. It looks like, I'm just judging from what I can see, it looks like there's a bit of a drop off behind it. So going long, probably not advised. So whatever you got that goes straight, send it. Okay, 300 feet, fairly straight. I'm gonna take a proton crave. Hook up a little, come on. Crash back. That looks pretty good. I'm good with that. This would be kind of cool. You can't see it through the video, but the lake is back here. It would look awfully nice if they cleaned out some of the scrub. Nice little view. A view for a two. Hole 11, par three, 314 feet. This is a cool look. Got to hit your gap, of course. Uh, you can see down there where the, uh, the bushes and stuff kind of bump out and they make a wall back there with a little tiny hole through it. Uh, you got to get something to go around all of that or through that at the very least. So this is looking like a flex shot, probably a flex forehand for a righty. Um, but yeah, 314 feet, you gotta get something to kind of cut a line through all of this. So not an easy looking hole, but it looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna try and flex a resistor through there. Let's see what we can do. All right, I heard it hit the ground. Not, uh, did not get a chance to come back, but so, we'll deal with it. You can try and get this one. Well, on target, not high enough. Hole 12, par three, 321 feet. This one looks pretty well guarded. Uh, the fairway, I mean, it shows a straight shot on there, on the, the map, but there are a lot of trees in the fairway. It looks like, to me, like a like a wall of guardians. So it looks like, again, you gotta try and flex something uh, to get around those and up to the basket. So 321 is almost the distance from the last one. It's a very similar kind of line, except this time it's uphill. So a little more challenging. All right, this one is, uh, this is a tough line. I'm gonna try and take a Tesla. This one turns just a little bit. It's a little flippier than my yellow one. Let's see if we can't put her up there. This is a, Sketchy gap. Fight. Come on, come out. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Tough gap to hit. Felt good to, good to get that one. So let's finish it off and make her count. Sit in there. Woo. Let's go. Hole 13, par three, 213 feet is a shorter one of these holes. Uh, so you can see we're throwing up over a hill. Uh, the basket is tucked to the left. It says there's water OB, but to get to that is, you gotta punch through a bunch of stuff. So I'm not worried about that so much. Uh, just getting up there, turning that corner to the left. So backhand something on a hyzer and uh, you're golden. All right, this one's a little hard to film because I had to put my my cart down there and it's uh there's no pad yet so again like it's a, it's a little bit of a tough uphill walk but uh i've got a glow hex and eclipse hex so this turns a corner a little better than normal ones let's see what we can do okay heard it hit grass didn't hear it hit trees that's a good thing okay landed outside the circle uh, just a little bit. It's not too much, but it's pushed back a little bit further than I, I really expected. Honestly, if I would have mashed on a pyro or a reactor, it probably would have been better. I do see now that the water does push up a little bit closer here.
Go in. Let's go. All right, hole 14, par three, 233 feet. Uh, you might be able to see the basket. You can see some well-lit trees there. It is behind those down that gap. Um, this looks like it's a pretty frustrating line. This thing needs to probably lose a tree here or there because man, is that line a tough one to hit. That is slight. So we're just gonna throw something straight and see what happens. Okay, I've got a neutron hex, a little bit of hyzer on the outside. See if we can't push the basket. Come on in. Okay, I'm good with that. This is like such a ridiculous line. Okay, I got to the back side of the hill here, which, holy cow, this hole needs some serious cleanup or some beating in. So get out here and play this because this hole's bananas. There's all sorts of farm trash or like busted out cars and stuff from somebody's old barn. So <sighs> watch your feet, watch your step. All right, here we go. Oh, so close. All right, let's get off of this one. Holy cow. All right, hole 15, par three, 234. Uh, you can see we have a fairway here, but it borders on an unfair way, man. It gets tight. So you gotta shoot that gap right there. Uh, for me, it's gonna be a forehand probably because the basket is down to the right. So we wanna finish off that way. So you gotta hit your gap and you gotta be moving to the right once you get down there about 180, 200. So good luck on this one. All right, I'm gonna forehand a resistor here. And I mean, just to hit that gap is gonna be, gonna be uh, a tough one. So here we go. Ah, oh, I almost just aced that, I think. I think I just buzzed the basket. Yeah, I uh, came pretty damn close to hitting this one. <clears throat> All right, hole 16, par four, our second par four, 721 feet. You can see we have a long mowed out kind of undulating fairway and uh, it gets back to the woods and back to the woods is where the basket is. So, I mean, I don't have 721 feet of power, so I'm gonna snap off as much as I can. You don't wanna go to the right, try to stay left. Uh, for me, that's gonna sort of look like uh, maybe some forehands or a backhand that pushes out into the taller grass, but either way, just don't go to the right. Okay, let's try this with a zenith. Uh, I'm gonna backhand it and see if I can't lay it just left maybe after that second or third hill. All right. Yeah, just over that hill that I wanted to get over and uh, we can deal with that. All right, so I left myself with about 330 left to go. I've got a, a neutron photon and a little bit of a branch in my way, but you can see back there where the trees are, that kind of wall is. Basket's just inside there. So big forehand hyzer uh, should do the trick. Got some sticks here and vines, so here we go. All right, looks like it cut in a little bit early, but we should be okay. We'll make something work. Okay, so just like I thought, I was a little bit short. I can't really see it leaning inside here, so it is gonna be a, a backhand turnover, just a little upshot. So, reach out a little. This is kind of a toughie. It's 
That looked okay. Okay, left myself on the circle's edge probably somewhere in there. Not where I quite wanted to be, but I caught some sticks on the way in. Like I said, this place needs to be cleaned up a little. There we go. Whew, I'll take par on that one. Okay, hole 17, it is another par four, the third par four. Uh, and it is 509 feet. You could see on the sign when it was up on the screen there that this hole is like a C shape and it's a long one. So as you can see here, you got these two trees. My recommendation if you've got a big forehand is to hit that gap, be on a hyzer. Right now there's a nice little wind pushing across that way. So my disc is gonna get some push if I do that. Uh, other than that, you have a long turnover if you don't have a forehand. Um, you wanna get out there a little bit because when you get around that corner, you need a little bit of room to see around the corner. Uh, to get there all the way is gonna be tough. And then when you get around the corner, it pushes back again a whole bunch. So this is a really challenging hole. Think like hole two, but like on steroids, way bigger. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, I'm gonna try to mash a forehand with a photon through these trees and then deal with what I gotta get, or what I end up with rather. So here we go. Oh, too straight, not enough hyzer. But, I mean, that'll give me a look. Eh, we'll see, okay. So I kind of overshot it a little bit. I wanted to keep closer that way so that I could see the basket, but you can see the opening now. The basket is tucked well back there. Um, I'm probably another 300 away, probably, uh, just because I came out this far. So I've got a proton crave. I'm gonna just try and get it through that gap and go as far as I can. Uh, because that basket is through there and past a bunch of stuff. So we'll see. <sighs> okay, I heard it go left. So we'll go check it out and see what we got. Okay, so that literally took forever to find. This left side, you do not want to be in it. It is bad. I found two other discs inside of here. So. I've got a little pitch out. I gotta go around a corner. Uh, it's not a wonderful place to be. So, don't recommend it. All right, I've got a hex. I'm just gonna try and pitch this out. All right, close enough to putt. Whew, get me out of here. Wow. Whew. That was, uh, that was a hole. Okay. Hole 18. Last one. Par 3. 340 feet. Basket is up out this gap. Uphill. You can see that big mound of brush up there. The basket is off to the right side, the right end of that. So... If you're lefty, backhanded, if you're a righty, forehanded, or you could turn it over. So lots of options. Okay, I am gonna go with my forehand. I uh, got a photon. Just gonna shoot the gap and let the disc do the rest of the work. All right, it's gonna be short. I felt a headwind on the walk up, but I didn't adjust much. So we'll see what we got. All right, I left this really short. First time playing here, first run through. <sighs> Not a whole lot of, I mean, I can take my best stab at it, but sometimes it just ain't right. So I'm looking at like out edge of circle two, maybe from here. Here we go. See if I can't run one to finish. Well, it ain't gonna be that one. Right distance, <clears throat> wrong line. 